Spheres, bubbles and planets in Affinity Photo. So let's get right to it. The first thing I want to do is create a circle. Or an ellipse, as they would have it. So let's drag out an ellipse. Now this can be any colour, but because I'm very bold, let's go for red. Now, selecting the Move tool, let's place that right in the centre. Why in the centre? Because we can. Now, add two other circles on opposite sides. In the Layers panel, set their blending modes to Add. Now, what we're going to do here, add two spheres on opposite sides in the Layers panel. Another ellipse. Let's just make sure that the one we've got selected is the same size. Perfect circle. 574.1. Let's make that 575. We'll make the other one 575. And lock them so that it's the aspect ratio stays the same in all cases. Now we'll go and create a couple more ellipses. Just tap out there. Let's make that one yellow. Now we'll make another one. We'll put that on the other side. They can be about the same size, I think. Let's have a look at the size. 479, let's make that, take the lock off, let's make that 480. That one there, 480. And lock them in place. Make that one there, 480. And that one there, 480. Now we, that one's yellow. Let's make this one over here. Sorry. Make this one over here um, a purpley colour. There we go. Now they're behind that. What we want them is add the selection. We'll just move those. If I can get them to move up to the top. Now they're over the top of the red circle. Now I want them there we go there's a faint gap in between them. Let's just check I've got those the same size. The purple one 480 the yellow one, 480. Okay. Collectively, again, we've got to get them both selected and set their blending modes to add. Hundred percent opacity and the blending mode is add. Very good. That's just what we want. Still in the layers panel, drag the two opposite circles into your main circle and then add a Gaussian blur. So our two opposite circles we're going to now drag them into that circle, that red circle. Now select FX and we want Gaussian blur which is selected there and we want the Gaussian blur radius to be about 100 pixels. Okay, 
and you can see straight away that we've got some nice glowing areas on that ball. Now the next step is to add two white ellipses with an opacity of 40%. 40 we need to go up to the Move tool because we don't want to select anything inadvertently. Just go back to our panels. Now we need two white ellipses. There's an ellipse. Now these are sort of, these are not circles. We're going to make them white. Now I'm not saying a lot here because I've got to draw these Just move them so that they're about there. Let's soften them down a bit. They're positioned about right there. Now we've got that one selected. Let's duplicate it. There's our second one duplicated. And we'll drag that one down there and we'll enlarge that one slightly so it's just out near the edge and somewhere up there. So that's slightly larger. Now select both of them, set the opacity to about 40%. You can experiment with that and they're in the main circle which is just what we want. With your main circle selected we want to add a white inner glow but those white circles there at the moment although they're 40% let's have a look at them they're kind of not very nice are they they're very sharp circles. Add selection add selection now we'll go to those and we'll give those a slight Gaussian blur. There we go, that's much better. Let's make that let's make that 20%. There we go, that's much better. It's like a highlight in the in the areas that we're looking at. Now we'll go back to there and just select that. To simulate a Fresnel, which is a glow around the edge, with your main circle selected, which we've got there, add a white inner glow. The FX panel, inner glow. Now the colour is white. The opacity, let's say about 50%. And the radius again, not the, the radius again is about one hundred. There we go. Now you can see the very fine white edge around that. The Fresnel effect, they say, is what occurs at the edge of a solid. The shallower the angle, the stronger the reflection. Now that's fairly straightforward. We've got not a bad looking circle there at the moment. So finally, duplicate your sphere. Now, that's the sphere. We want to duplicate that. Sorry, wrong, wrong button. Duplicate that. And rasterize it. Rasterize that. Flattens all those layers, turns it into a pixel layer. Doesn't seem any different on the image. But when we add a Gaussian blur to it. You 
you can see there's a glow appearing around the outside of that now. See that? Let's make that 60 instead of sliding it up and down. There's a Gaussian blur. Now that's the pixel one, but we don't want it over the top of the other one because it's going to interfere with it. Put it underneath the other one and then you can adjust it. Now you can see there's a slight glow around it. We've still got Gaussian blur selected. And there we go. Now you can see the outer glow, which is more basic, but more flexible. That's about it for the exercise. Now you can see how easy that was. There's our main ellipse. Yes, there's our there's our glow around that. That looks quite cool from here. Let's select that. Perfect. Now you can move on from there and do all sorts of things like adding, creating a planet from it, putting swirls in it and doing other things like that. You could turn that into one of the gas giants like, like Venus or Jupiter or one of those with swirling clouds in it. And I'm sure you know how to select swirls, or you'll soon find out. Very good. Thanks for watching. Go ahead. Make my day. Subscribe.